What's up, people? 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 It's the first time we've been. Hmm. What is this? I appear to be in a new world. I must have been summoned to this place. Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Terraria. Not in the Deathbox way. Oh. Yes, not in the Deathbox way. But, I am joined by my co-friend, um, Sapling Staff. Ah, I am joined by my co-friend, Lexi, and we will be tackling on this world of Thorium. Oh. We'll be tackling this world of Thorium um, as we, I don't know, just try to survive some Terraria because why not? Um, I am in here a little late. That's why the whole summon joke was a, was a thing. Um, I've been summoned to this world to sort of join in on this adventure for a bit. And so this should be quite interesting. Um, not in comms, though. Oh. So yeah. Let's see. Should probably start off by grabbing some trees and stuff. As usual, because I do need some armor and whatnot. But yeah, yeah, it is another day of modded Terraria. And so, things can always get quite interesting. I am doing a summoner run on this one, actually. Something I've actually never, like, truly done before. And so, I think it'll be quite interesting to see what we can get, what we can do as summoners. Lots of strong... Oh! Also some new mods that I've never played with before. Like that thing that was hovering over Lexi. I didn't know that that was an enemy as we just fought now. Oh, and we're not in Maso mode, so we're not going to suffocate instantly by going underwater. Which is perfect. No eyeballs trying to dash at us. At insanely quick fashion. Ah, it's so good. There's also some other mods in here that I like consider um, adding it over to the Death Walks pack or even a new mod pack that could come into the future. But I'm speaking of things that are much further away. Like this tower. We already have a ton of towers in our world, but this tower seems pretty dang cool. My goal is to map out this place a little bit since um, there are some NPCs houses like around um, that was created before I got here. But also I want to grab a couple bits of wood too. Um, do have a few extra starting materials and stuff and since there was no living wood trees with like any houses or anything in it, um, I am tasked with using the living wood wand to break myself some leaves and grab myself some some uh, good armor with that. Oh, there's multiple towers in this world? Gosh dang. Ah, quite interesting. This mod pack is not as over the top as the Death Walks one in difficulty or in like the scaling of how many mods there truly are, which is Wonderful because um just gets a little bit more peace of mind. Definitely grab a little bit more peace of mind when it comes down to it. I'm gonna throw myself on a team. I'm not sure if Lexi's like on a specific team or not. But it could be useful 
for later. Oh, these guys. I don't even know where they're from. They're spirits. I have like, there's like five total mods in this pack that I don't know about. Um, like, you know, that like aren't in like death walks or I haven't played with before. And like only like two of them are like content mods. So these spirit things are either from ravens or slime stuff. If I was to guess one or the other, I'd probably guess slime stuff. These saplings only take up half a slot, and they are very useful. I should really grab some recall potions to make my way back. But I don't know if I'll be able to necessarily find something like that right now. And so I'm just going to take myself a nightly stroll. Ah! Man. It was good. I haven't really like played some sort of like calming Terraria in a in a in quite a long time. Calming in the fact that I'm not being like two shot. Because of course, like even in my single player worlds at the moment. I am um, still doing death walks. I'm just doing it with a different class. My current single player world for death walks is a throwing class. And so that's that gets interesting from time to time, but it's still crazy hard. Get a lot of throwing knives and things to sort of like look after. Throwing grenades. I can actually kind of like deal with bosses in a lot better fashion right now. It's amazing. And so like I guess throwing class isn't as impossible as I originally thought it would be for death walks. Ugh. I've originally been oh nice. I've originally been um I was right. Originally been uh, sort of editing and uploading my Deathlock series right now. Um, to sort of state how retroactively things are going right now in terms of the Terraria series that I'm doing right now, this is being recorded right now in the end end of July, and you'll probably see this in the end end of July. I this I'll probably end up like uploading this not too long after um, I upload it. And so this is being uploaded at like the end end of July and it's being recorded in the end end of July. No, ah, yikes. Oh. Um, so, this is being recorded and being recorded and uploaded at, like, the end of, Ju end end of July. My Deathlock series is more than likely, um, or is starting to, um, my Deathlock series is starting to, um, be uploaded right now at the end of July, but... I recorded the first episodes of that way back in February. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> yeah. And so it's like a weird mix. And to make matters even worse, I do have another Terraria video plant. I am going to check out this mod. And I kind of want to check it out, like, right, right now. But doing that um, would mean that the video doesn't even come out until like much much later if i was to integrate the mod review into my mod pack so what i'm thinking of is just doing a mix of both and doing a its own little mod playthrough and also 
integrating into the mod pack because apparently it's like a sort of one shot like there's sort of no way that i could do it quote unquote but this is death walk so i gotta try it out i mean not this series this series is not death walk this is story i better get to get to farm in um <laughs> Break the farm in some of the leaf wand stuff, actually. Ah, it's daytime. Oh, come on. I have to use normal wood for that? Nah, can't be helped, I guess. Where is this recipe browser at? Item browser and see recipe. Haha. -ha. What am I doing with this? Whoops. That's. I guess that's what I'm doing with it. Ah, here we go. <gasps> and the acorn. Yes. But of course. So I'm going to need a total of 10, 16, 26, uh, 34, if my math's correct, of those. And also some other pieces of wood, too. So hopefully we can get all that soon. Hmm. Yep, my sapling's gonna be quite useful for this fight, I would say. I'm unsure where Lexi currently is. Let's go make a little visit into the cave system. Because why not? Do I have any slimes killed? I actually don't because it's been like nighttime and like other things and so I just haven't had any time to kill slime. Oh, I hear Lexi. So we begin. Yes, oh. Oh man, this thing's going down easy. I say that as I'm about to die. How dare you, door. my other both of them out at the moment doesn't look like it oh yeah hey she just grew nice oh you get over here you you oh there we go Perfect, now I can go to Juiced and tell him that, that I want, <laughs> that I want, what do I want actually? What is useful to me as a summoner from the Sprout guy? Not sure, but that should be quite useful. I want to cut some of these down and replace them. Because life is good, right? There you go. Yeah. So, yeah, this playthrough is a lot more chill than to dying and yelling at, like, something like the Wall of Flesh or whatever. Oh, a small little living wood tree. A road has this stuff in it. 
I'm guessing this is from Slime Stuff. It has to be. Because I've never seen it before, but I've seen a lot of people with it. I mean, Slime Stuff is a relatively popular mod, I would say. So, kind of interesting. Yeah, I've slowed my reign of retroactively adding mods into death blocks right now. I don't know. I think it is interesting on how that will work, especially with Enderium. Enderium's like very much dependent on its generation of the world, whereas some mods aren't. Oh, well, look at that little stabby guy. Hmm. I mean, I can always change up the sapling later, so we'll equip the little stabby guy. Always watch me back. Oh, hello. Get close, I dare. <laughs> That's a lot more range than I thought. So, tokens are from the, um, sort of like IMK sushis, like basic um pack i have the modern or not the modern the opposite i have the old fashioned version Ugh, another mushroom guy Yeah, the summon stuff to me um, just muddle into my brain. And so I can't really, like, gauge necessarily which mod adds in which summon, especially since I've never done a summon class before. And so, yeah, it gets complicated. Ah, so relaxing. This is, this is so therapeutic. This is the stress-free Terraria that I've needed. When I haven't been playing Terraria, I've been going back and playing either Battlefield, GTA, or League of Legends. And none of those are, like, relaxing. <laughs> Especially not League. Especially since I'm new. Oof. This, I like this. This is nice. Oh, we almost have our 30 or so that we need. Man, not having to take wood and build houses is also like relaxing too. I'll save one just in case. Use the one falling star to make a living wood acorn. Ooh. Can I revert these back? I'm pretty sure I can. Ah, maybe I can't. But that's fine. Night will fall soon, and I'll be able to grab myself. Oh! Here we go. Fallen star. So I do have one saved over left. Um, how am I at? Almost? I am almost at Nirvana. Also, these 
that living wood stuff is made through a living loom, isn't it? And so, ah, a lot less intu intuitive than recipe browser. Oh, it's made at our workbench. So, I it seems to be fine. What is a living wood wreath? I might have to check that out. Even so, there are things that still seem to be new. Living wood wreath. New things to me, eh? Eh, can't see it now. But let's work on getting that armor first. Ugh. As long as I can remember how to close my tabs. <laughs> oh. That's interesting. Very, very interesting. Ha! I like this. I like this mod. This gravel mod. I hope I have enough for all this. And it seems I do. That is perfect. <laughs> 